Okay, we are now getting to the point where we need to heat the hot liquor tank up to 168 degrees so that we can do our sparge. So you can see where the hot liquor tank is now on. 158 degrees or 157 degrees. We need to get to 168. Mash will get soon there to follow and you can see where the uh, mash or actually the uh, hot liquor tank element is on so once we get to that point we'll be right back see ya. okay we're getting closer so once the mash tent says 168 then what we'll do is we will take this was just coming out of the mash tun. Coming up going through the coil. We'll take that fitting and we'll put it over into the boil kettle. And then we'll take this fitting off of the hot liquor tank and we'll put it down here on the bottom of the coil and flush all that beautiful goodness wart and we'll flush it through and we'll do start doing our sparge. Now, that will get shut off. So the idea is to get, by the end, we probably have a 20 degree difference. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a 90 minute time sparge. Now we'll probably get to 75 minutes according to Cal who invented this beautiful system. So we'll come back when we get to that point. All right, kids, here we are. We're at 169 degrees on the hot liquor tank, 167 degrees on the mash tank. So, like I said, what we're gonna do is we're going to take this hose right here, we're gonna put it over here to the boil kettle and we're going to take this hose off the recirculation for the hot water off the hot liquor tank and we're going to put it down there and essentially what's going to happen is we're going to take all this nice wart and we're going to push it through 50 feet of half inch coil and then it's going to whirl off on top and then come back down and then come up into the top so when we get into the boil, I'll bring you back, show you what's going on. But there's where we're at right now, kids. See you in a minute. Okay. 167. Trickle in. Probably need to open that up just a little bit more. And then we are barely barely going into the boil kettle. So let me make this adjustment. Once we get a little bit closer, I'll give you another update. Alright, here we go. We are now pulling out of the liquid tank. Coming out. Bottom of the coil. Pushing hot water through the coil coming out of the coil into the top of the mash tun this is on top of the grain comes out on the bottom of the mash tun out of the pump to the top of the boil kettle Whoa. There you go. All right, here we are at 34 minutes. Our liquid tank down about eight and a half. Mesh. Boil. Oh 
almost five gallons. 33 mils. Five gallons. Alright, we'll get a little shot here of the uh, runnings. Towards the end here, we're at 1.0. Zero, 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 zero. But that's even a temp or even a gravity. So we're uh, we're about done. We're at about uh, like six and a half. Maybe about seven and a half, eight. We'll be back. Okay, we are at. Under 66 degrees in the boil kettle. We're now at the level we need to be. Three and a half gallons, two and a half void. Half gallon for evaporation, six gallons. Check back a little later.